In the previous video, we had a look at various patterns to import and export modules. For our fifth pattern, we had learned about the exports keyword, which can be used in place of module.exports. However, I did mention it is always better to use module.exports instead of exports. In this video, with a few lines of code, let me explain the reasoning behind that. I'm going to begin by creating a new file. I'll call it objectreference.js. Within the file, I'm going to create an object called obj1 with one property name initialized to Bruce Wayne. In the next line, I'm going to create a new object obj2 and assign obj1 to obj2. In the next line, I will reassign object2.name to Clark Kent. If you now log obj1 to the console and run node object reference.js, we see the object logged but the name is Clark Kent and not Bruce Wayne. This is because in JavaScript, when you assign one object to another, both objects point at the same address in memory. Modifying one will lead to modifying the other. So when we modified object two, we are also modifying object one, which is why name is Clark Kent and not Bruce Wayne. Now here is the interesting bit. After the initial assignment, if we assign a new object instead of modifying the properties on the existing object, that reference is broken. So if I change const obj2 assignment to let obj2 is equal to obj1 and then assign a new object to obj2 with name set to Clark Kent, and run the code, we see obj1 still contains Bruce Wayne. When we assigned an object literal, the reference was broken. Modifying obj2 will no longer affect obj1. Hopefully this makes sense. Now why did I explain this? Well, as it turns out, obj1 is module.exports and obj2 is just exports. This behavior where we expect Clark Kent to be logged but Bruce Wayne is logged instead is what might happen when working with Node.js modules as well. Let's go back to math.js and understand this. At the moment, on line one and line five, we are modifying the property that exists on the exports object. This, as you can see, works as expected when we run node index. Addition and subtraction print the expected results. If we choose to use the other syntax where we have module.exports as an object, run node index, that also works as expected. But if I now replace module.exports with just exports and rerun node index, it does not work as expected. This is because from a module, Node.js only returns module.exports and not the exports object. Exports is just a reference to module.exports. If you assign a new object to exports, like we have done here on line nine, that reference is broken and module.exports will be an empty object that is exported. In our case, math becomes an empty object in index.js. If you try access dot add or dot subtract on an empty object, it will throw an error. Going back to our object reference, Hopefully you can now relate to obj1 being module.exports and obj2 being exports. 
If this is a little difficult to understand, let me help you visualize by debugging. First, let me go to scenario one where we have exports.add and exports.subtract. This was our fifth pattern in the previous video. If I now debug, you can see initially exports is an empty object. Module.exports is also an empty object. If I step into the require function, we are brought to math.js. Step over and we can now see exports has an add property, which is a function. And module.exports also has an add property, which is a function. Step over again and we have subtract as well both on exports and module.exports. This is because they both point at the same location and changing exports will also change module.exports, which is what is returned from the require function. Now let's switch to exports where we assign a new object that contains add and subtract as properties. It's a new assignment instead of modifying the exports object properties. Run and debug. We have exports, which is an empty object, module.exports, which is an empty object. Step into the function call, and we are now in math.js. If I now step through the code, after we cross the exports assignment, you can see only exports is populated with add and subtract functions, but module.exports is not populated. This is because the reference was lost when you assign a new object instead of attaching a property on the exports object. When we return back to index, require returns an empty object, which results in the error. So if you ask me, although exports is shorter than module.exports, this confusion of attaching to the exports object versus assigning a new object to exports is just not worth it. I would suggest always use module.exports when exporting from a module. Hopefully, you also now have an idea of all the five parameters that are present in the function that wraps every module in Node.js. Exports, require, module, double underscore file name, and double underscore directory name. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and leave a like if you're enjoying the videos. I'll see you in the next one.